Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Arissa and this is Arissa Rue Art. And okay, so I know, I know, I know I'm doing another deconstructed bloom, but I'm experimenting with it this time. So it's different. Is it? Does it count? I hope it counts because this is the video I'm putting out because I want to see if I can do use a base that is not going to suck up my colors because I'm only using three colors. I am using uh, Quinacridone Nickel Azel Gold by Golden. I'm using Quinacridone Magenta by Liquitex Basics and I'm using Iridescent Precious Gold by Pebeo. But uh, for the base paint, I did not want to use a color because I want it to dry transparent. So what I did is I took a bunch of crap, crap being the best word for all my different kind of pouring mediums. It's got a lot of stuff in it. It's got my uh, house paint pouring medium in it, which is the untinted house base with the Minwax Polycrylic. I also have my recipe that I use to make my color art pigments ready for like Dutch pours and stuff. And that's got glue, Elmer's glue all, regular gloss gel, water, and American Floetrol in it. To thicken it up, I added some Liquitex Basics, basically soft gloss gel. I think it's that, it's like their gloss gel pouring medium or whatever. And then for, <laughs> I was gonna leave it untinted, but what I wanted to do is give it a little bit of tint. So I don't know if you can see, I don't know if the light above me is too bright for you to see, but this is a really, really light blue with a shift of like a pinky purple. And what color that is, is a color art pigment called Papillon, Papillon? nope, Papillon. I can, it's Friday, leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a color art pigment. It's a really, really pretty shifty blue purple color. So I put a bunch of that in this big container so it doesn't truly color it, but it tints it and these dry transparent. So I wanna see what it's gonna do. But because it's gonna dry transparent, I base coated this with my Amsterdam Titanium White. So it is white already because although the canvas is white, it's not the right white, it's not paint. So I'm gonna do this quickly. Also, <laughs> I'm getting really cheap because I started my new job this week, which is great. It's amazing, I've worked more hours, but I come home and I'm more, more relaxed because I'm not management and I can just go to work, work and come home and it's wonderful. But I also took a little bit of a pay cut going to this new job, obviously getting out of management. So I'm trying to conserve my Australian Floetrol. So what I did was I made with, I've never used this color it, or this product. It's the, is it lamp black? What color black is this? Oxide black, I think, yeah. Oxide Black by Amsterdam, but I used like two thirds my Floetrol mix with the Minwax wood conditioner and then like one third of the Australian Floetrol just so I can conserve because again, I'm getting cheap. So I'm gonna try this Floetrol or this cell activator mix with these. I was gonna do white. <sighs> I haven't decided, I still may, but I really like the strikingness is that a word? The striking look of just the black. So I don't know if I'm gonna do the white, but I am gonna do this and I'm gonna pour. So wish me luck. I have no idea what this is gonna do. I know I mixed them, these pigments. I initially mixed it into this big container, which meant some of the pigment didn't mix in very well, which means I may be left with a little bit of like loose pigment on it, but I'm not mad at that. So we'll see how that works. I'm gonna find a torch that works because I have some bubbles because I just mixed it. Can't, but I can't torch it too much because it's house paint, but I'm gonna torch it a little bit. Maybe, yeah, it's coming out. A little bit of the bubbles coming out because it does have Floetrol in it, so there's a little bit of protection there. I'm gonna tap it out a little bit, make some more come back up. There we go. Ooh. There, and before I get it all overzealous, uh, overzealous with this. I'm going to put my base coat on this one too because I always want to add a flow extender, but then I never know if I have enough base coat. So I'm just going to do what I need to do right here. And then I don't have much paint left, but that's okay. So like I said, I'm only using three colors. Quinacridone uh, Nickel is a gold first. I am then going to use the magenta and then I'm going to use the precious gold. Bam. 
So we'll see how this works out. I'm gonna make two big ones, I think. I don't wanna do three. This is two 10 by 20s, so the canvases are not that big. There we go. Then I'm gonna go with magenta on top of that one. Tamp that out a little bit. Those bubbles came to the top. I'm really interested to see how this dries, like seriously. And then my precious gold is looking a little thick, so I'm gonna add some more Minwax Polycrylic varnish to it. I love this bottle. It's like a ketchup bottle. It has this lid that just doesn't quit. I love it. You pop it on, pop it off. This bottle is the best. I got it at Target. It was probably like eight bucks. I love it so much. I may have to go get some more. I don't know why, because it's the only thing I use for it, but I feel like I should get some more. But I just said I was going to take a pay cut, so <laughs> maybe I shouldn't. Ha! You never know. All right, so <laughs> we got the gold here. And again, I think I'm just going to use the black. I really like the black in my little test tile on this, so I'm just going to use my black. I'm going to do one at a time, as you do. I'm going to get a, get a good size amount on there. My little tiny blow dryer, since this is so little. On cool. I think I take the concentrator off, right? <laughs> I can't. I do all the. I do these all the time, and I can't remember. I'm like, let me take that concentrator off. Here I go again. So you see this right here, this tells me that I, even though I leveled this, this does not stay level enough. So I am just gonna turn my little levelers. I'm gonna scrape this so it stops. What I'm gonna do is get a popsicle stick, big giant one I think, and just scrape it back into the middle because I don't wanna lose all that as I wait. There we go. There, okay. Ooh, those are pretty. Another, next one. There we go. I'm gonna let that work. I'm gonna go with my next one here. I'm gonna torch since I scraped it. That way. Big bubbles, go. Go, 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 go. And then I can see that I burned that a little bit, so I'm just gonna take off that top layer. I got too close with that torch. There. All right, layer, layer, layer. There we go. Little more, why not? Let me use my paint up since I don't need to have it over. Yeah, I have like a commute and everything now where before it took me like 15 minutes, maybe 17 on a bad day to get to work. It takes me routinely like 40. But even then, commutes aren't bad. I, I mean, I'm opposite traffic. So there's a couple of spots where it gets a little slower, but for the most part, I'm opposite, tra opposite traffic. I just work far enough away from my home, but it just gives me time to like quiet my thoughts. I like a commute actually. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. Sometimes I get so home, home so quickly and not that home is bad, home is great, but then you're on mom duty. <laughs> so let's blow this out. Okay, next one. Oh, that cell activator is so beautiful in this. I love these colors together. Let's go.
I'm not mad at it. But I'm gonna tilt. I don't need much so I, um, flow extender, so I'm just gonna go a little bit because this is a smaller canvas. A little bit, and then that's it. Sorry for the rhyming again. It's just so fun. Uh, yeah, a little bit here, I think. I don't want it to roll over as much as I did the last one. Just a little bit. There we go. Let's tilt. Oh, these colors are gorgeous. Hey, can you guess which side or corner I'm gonna go to first? I can. Bright, maybe, for the win? Yes, I think so. I'm just gonna, and this, how, this base coat definitely has um, GAC 800 in it, so I can help to avoid cracking. In this. And it's got like all the gloss mediums and pouring mediums in it, and those actually do help avoid cracking also. So that will work, I think. I think I'm gonna turn this since it's so small. Ooh, maybe it's small, but maybe, gosh. Oh, those colors are gorgeous. Just walk it corner to corner so you don't go straight down with it so you don't lose your composition too much or your cells and go over that corner a bit and pull it back and then go to this corner Ooh, it was so light i'm so used to doing these on such a big scale <laughs> i'm like whoa don't drop it but i'm not it's just so lightweight and go over the corner since i don't have a blue corner anywhere else Ooh, it's pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna leave it again, like that. I'll check my corners in just a moment because I wanna get this one tilted and I'm dripping. So I'm gonna dry my hands off because I know I will, if I drip, I'm gonna drip over the first one. So make sure you don't drip in your products here. Ugh, so messy. All right, make sure my cup is not dripping either. A little bit of flow extender, since I'm going over it, over this one, I should say. Come back here, do the same down here. Oh my gosh, you guys, these colors are just so vibrant. You will see, they are so vibrant. Am I recording? Watch, I'm not recording. I think I just record. Oh, I'm recording. For some reason, I had a moment of panic. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I, I wish I drank. I really do. Sometimes I just wish I really drank. But I, I, only, I don't drink that much. It's just, I got little kids. Not little kids. They're old. My, I have twins. I'm pretty sure I've said that on other videos. But if you're new, you may not know. I have 16-year-old twins and daughters. And a 14-year-old daughter. So three girls here. And yeah, what's the point of being... Of drinking when it's just you and some kids who don't drink because you know they're kids and they can't oh i have so much paint dripping on me it's quite gross really okay so now i want to turn this one but i really want to make sure i don't go over this and this glove just got annihilated so i'm actually just going to switch it because i cannot even clean that off enough to not drip on my paint my piece so let me grab a new glove because it like, it got a lot of paint on it. And now this one, I'm gonna pull it over the floor here to switch, to turn, so I don't, and actually, yeah. So I don't go over that piece, but mistake. And let's get down to that bottom, to the top right corner. I cannot wait to see how this dries. These colors, if that dries transparent, like I think it is, these colors are gonna stay so vibrant and beautiful. And I can't wait, and I'm gonna do it again, again and again and again, because this is gorgeous so far. And there's no fading in these colors because that base is so transparent. Get over that corner. Oh, there we go. And then bring it back. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. Wow, I really, really like that. I'm gonna turn it, because I like them to match up 
somewhat like they go together. Let me see if they do this way. This little white spot on this bottom here bothers me just a touch. So I'm just going to take a little bit of black because it's the cell activator line and just do that. <laughs> it just bothered me a little bit. Let's see how well they match up that way. Either way, it doesn't matter. I really like them. They're pretty. Let me turn this one back the way it was because that's how I had them level. Guys, these are gorgeous. <gasps> oh, so pretty. But I do have to clean up my edges, my corners. So I'm going to do that. You guys can watch. Maybe I'll speed it up. Maybe I'll cut it out. I have no idea. But rather than touching the camera right now with my dirty gloves, I'll just leave it on and so, work it out. The other lovely thing about having these furniture things, the stands as a stand, is that in order to get to the middle to scrape the edges, my arm can go underneath without having to worry about trying to move these so much. I mean, I'm going to get paint on my hand, but whatever. I don't have to mess up my paintings <laughs> to scrape the edges, which is great. I like that all day. So I'll do the same over here. I'm like, I haven't showered yet tonight after work. It's all good if I have paint all over me and I actually kind of like it. I dig it. It feels like so involved. I love having paint on me until I'm done for it. I'm done having it on me. Then I'm like, get the heck off, please. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, gloves are coming off. We're not fighting them. I'm just going to take my gloves off. I'm going to turn off the camera so I can turn on my flash and I will show you the final result. It's so right, pretty. So here's Hold the on. thing. Even if I wasn't being super cheap right now, I think I'm definitely going to continue to make my cell activator like this. There you go. My colors finally count. My camera adjusted because this cell activator far outdoes anything I have gotten with just Australian Floetrol. This is so beautiful. And the colors are absolutely stunning. My camera keeps adjusting these colors, I'm so sorry. But look at the shimmer. And because I have that base coat as a color art pigment, there's shimmer in it as well. So it will dry transparent, but it'll be sparkly. You gotta love it. Oh my gosh, look at that color. It is so beautiful. And that black has created a purple hue with the magenta. I didn't have any blue in here. I didn't have any, you know, I don't know why the purple's there. So, but I'll take it. And that is really actually gold. I don't know why it's not adjusting. So that is that gold color. It just doesn't know what to do. Let me see if I can, oops, sorry. So that part right there is actually this color. It's that gold. It's just the camera is not adjusting to it right now, but it's so sparkly and so beautiful, and I'm so happy, but look at that. Look how wonderful and distinct and like separated the cells are. They're so pretty. Oh, they're so pretty. Look how beautiful that little wispy part is right there. You see the transparencies in the base coat mixing with the colors, and oh, happy freaking Friday night. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love this so much. I'm super, super, super duper happy with this. Please tell me what you think in the comments below. So pretty. See, let's get them. Let's get them all. Ready? One, two, three, focus. There you go. It's gorgeous. Fly by, fly over. Well, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful Friday. Bye.